One of my goals for this new season is to improve my gameplay and my mechanics. So I decided to get coached by one of the best. This is Vex. As you can see, they're goaded. And they have a bunch of tips and tricks that I think we all can benefit from. It's the coolest geek you know, and I'm about to show you the start of my progression right here. As far as editing, I have a cool map to show you. It's called Raiders Mechanic Practice Method. All right, so go to edit timing, go to ramp the floor. That one's just like ramp the floor editing over and over again. Basically just like this. Yep. To edit faster and stuff, mm -hmm. you blueprint edit a lot. You know what I mean by like blueprint editing? When you're no. building a cup, do you pull out your pickaxe and then make the edit? Sometimes. Most of the time I'll have a weapon and I'll try and do the edit. The best thing to do to like speed up editing or whatever mm -hmm. is press your floor right now. Okay. Now that's called blueprint editing. That'll speed up your edit probably by twice as much, not even gonna lie. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It's like it's like two button presses less. Yep. Once you get the uh, timing down for blooper editing, it's it's a lot smoother. So the next thing I want you to go do is right next to the is called a crosshair placement. This is a big thing on fast editing that nobody talks about. So reset the wall real quick. Okay, now press the edit, but don't actually edit it. Now you see where the circle's at. Instead of making a big sweep of that edit, like this, just do the little circle. Okay. Practice doing that quickly. An underrated tip for fast editing is just like crosshair placement, just being in control. Minimal movement to select tiles. You want to do as least as possible when editing. This drill, it'll go through both sides like that, and then it'll go through, like if there's a cone in the box, and then it goes through like the Dorito edits. It does a bunch of stuff. I think it's a good edit to practice. Try not to see the tile at all. So you focus more on just the placement of the crosshair rather than how many tiles you're selecting? Yep. That's the mistake that everybody makes, making the big, big sweep. One ball says free build. There's a normal speed and there's a slow speed. We can do the slow speed real quick. Oh yeah, yeah he's so way slow. The only reason I would use it sometimes is to like try to like learn a new build or like, like technique or something. I don't think you would want to do this all the time because you like you build muscle memory around it. Try like a uh, tunnel it and then place a wall to your in front of you and to your right. Okay. And then keep running forward and keep doing that. This is where blueprint editing is gonna help. You can pull any build out. I think tunneling is a lot of things people like forget to practice. They just like, you know, like kind of just do it. There you go. And then when you get a little bit faster, you can try to edit in the middle and then try to place a wall on both sides. The thing about tunneling is it's all just kind of like about flow and being in control. After about probably, I don't know, 10, 15, 30 minutes of like being in the slow island, practicing new things, I go to like the normal speed. Now you get to practice stuff right for speed. And I honestly think like after I go slow speed and then I go like normal speed, I feel like I do stuff like faster. Oh, almost, almost. When I'm taking some speed ball, uh -huh. I'm gonna put my pickaxe and press down. As soon as this other pickaxe is I pull my build, I press my wall button. Okay. And I, I just hold my pickaxe down. And oh, I get what you're saying. If I know you're gonna like edit on me and shoot, I'm like talking out ready to shoot. But like, obviously, I'm gonna wanna trick you. As soon as I see that you're gonna edit and shoot, you know, I'll have my shotgun out ready. If somebody comes up and they're trying to take your wall, try to take my wall over. Okay. Yeah, I watch where the pickaxe is going to swing, and uh -huh. as soon as the wall breaks, I shoot, and then I hold my wall behind. Trust me, dude. You do this <laughs> to somebody, and it'll either make them really mad, or it'll make them back off really quick. <laughs> now, a lot of it is ping-based. If I know that somebody has better ping than me, and they're going to try to take my wall, I'm just going to get the hell out of there. When I have the wall, I'm going to try to edit and shoot you, you know? To counter that, you're going to hit my wall once. Obviously, I see that my wall's weak, so I'm going to try to edit on you and shoot. When somebody gets ready to edit, see the pencil, it raises. I didn't know that either. That's crazy. Another thing, too, and trust me, like, people are creatures of habit. You watch somebody do this every time. When they get ready to edit, they start moving. Right. They start, they start moving. I'll be sitting here on the other side of somebody's wall. I just have my gun out. I'll, like, look at them, crouch up and down. I see that they're going to edit. Boom, I'll shoot them. Every time, dude. Every That's time. That's crazy. When you're in a fight, always try to push the fight in your favor. Place the floor. Oh, okay. And then place the cone right over yourself. That's how I usually heal. Nothing beats just placing a simple cone over yourself, not even taking the risk. There's been times when I've been sniped and I'm like, well, <laughs> if I just would have placed a cone. <laughs> oh, there's a player right there. Shot.
Alright, he knows he tagged you up a little bit, so he's gonna be a little more aggro. Oh, he's he might fighting be trying to knock else. him down, yeah. Remember just, uh, staying focused, calm. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Deep breaths. Pretty hard right there. You're good. You hit him too. That was lucky. Well, you knew that he was going to make the edit, so you kind of just waited for him in a shot. In the barrel. Grenade him. Grenade him. You can shock away from their box. Yeah, you're right. He's gonna have to get out eventually. Storm's coming. If he doesn't want to move, you know. I can breathe. I would hide in the bush for a second. Eat a piece of meat. I always gotta utilize bush in my record. Shockwave ahead of him, maybe. Right. Come on, more. Don't do that I to hide, me. I would, I would hide the bush. Uh. <laughs> I think you hit him for a decent amount, though. Yeah, not bad. I know there's a lot for me to work on, but I'm looking forward to practicing these techniques and utilizing the tips that Vex had to show me. I hope you learned as much as I did today. Thank you so much for watching this video, man. I truly appreciate you all. If you liked it, Give me that thumbs up. Check to see whether or not you're subscribed and hit the bell so you guys never miss anything, all right? Don't sleep on yourselves and I'll catch you in the next one.